Hello everyone, today we're doing the Quirky Quaggin Quest. I'll have timestamps below as I'll show both with and without mounts. To get started, we are in the Bitter Frost Frontier and west of Soros Eclipse Sanctuary, heading towards my personal waypoint. So first I'll show with a Springer mount, as that will probably be what most people have. And we're just gonna keep going right up. Mm. Mm, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so I'm not great with the Springer. <laughs> so we're just gonna quickly try that again. It can be done. And it's not that hard, actually. We're just... Okay, we're good. We're good. We have this. It's all good. And we'll just take ourselves over here in our high heels. We are in the bitter cold, so if you're going this route, you will need your Thaw Elixir. It is what you put together during the story, but if you don't recall how to do that, I'll link a video below. And here is our first Quaggan. That being said, if you have a sky scale, this is very quick and easy. A lot more graceful, too. So I just started off on the other side, just so that I can get some height. Yep, that that's it. That's all you have to do. <laughs> it's super easy. It is actually pretty easy with the, uh, the Springer as well. I just... My talents lie elsewhere. And if you don't have any mounts, we'll be heading towards this thermal tube. Uh, eat pain. Walking up this kind of snowier part of the path will make it a little easier for you. And again, I have my frost resistance on. We're only in the bitter cold for a brief moment before heading into the cave, so you probably, if you're fast enough, could get away with it, but just in case. And then we're going to exit out and glide down. So you would be taking damage this entire time if you didn't have the, uh, the thaw elixir. But again, details below. And by details below, I mean a video. I have a video below linked on how to make it. Number two, we are northwest at the Griffin Old Growth Area. And you can just spring her up the waterfall, but I'll just quickly head around for those of you who don't have a mount. And there's a chest behind that waterfall, by the way, too. And our third Quaggan, I'll first show with Springer and then the original method. We're in the Dragon Teeth Hot Spring, right in front of this waterfall. So came in over there. Just kind of trying to give you an idea where I am, but there is like a misty waterfall here. I'm going to Springer up. And I'm back at the beginning again. This is very common with the Springer and me at least. Over here is our, our little Quaggan. But if you don't have mounts at all, or just maybe you're curious how you originally would have got here, let me show you the long way. So we have a, a little set of stairs here. And this is how you would have originally went and got the vista as well. So just want to walk up far enough that you'll be able to get enough height to glide over. Just for uh, speeding it up. So we don't want to go up the waterfall, but rather right over here. And yes, there will be some stairs and ladders to jump on. But we have peaceful music in the background.
So I kind of just try my best to almost zigzag my way across these as best I can. Glide. Oh, I did not glide. <laughs> my intentions were to glide. That is not what I did. <laughs> Moving on to the fourth, same area. If you have a springer, you're just going to kind of go in this little inlet. Jump your way up. My apologies. It is during the event, so hard to see. Yep, I totally missed that. That's okay. What matters is we made it. And if you don't have any mounts, the original way to get up... Cutting it painfully close, just like before. The waterfall is misleading. You will not get anywhere. So to the left up the waterfall is where we went last time and where the vista is, we're now going right. We're heading towards the thermal tube. And you cannot walk up the side ropes. You will fall, speaking from experience. And number five. Just trying to give you a bit of an idea based on the mini map of where I am and just below the water. And number six. We are just north of the waypoint. And number seven is to turn it all in. We are at the waypoint. And we'll be heading again to my personal waypoint. So our vista is just up there and if you use your springer, our friend is right here. Now, if you don't have a mount and you have no idea how to get up there, and we wanna be right here on this point and then glide over. Hmm. 
There's our mastery point and there's our achievement. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed. And I don't know, maybe see you around.